Well, every day the headlines about the Zika virus continue to multiply. The disease has been linked to brain damage in thousands of babies in Brazil. Now, the World Health Organization warned that Zika will likely spread to all countries in the Americas, with the exception of Chile and Canada. So what is the Zika virus and how is it spread? Zika virus updates have been plentiful in recent weeks. The mosquito transmitted infection is related to yellow fever, dengue and West Nile virus. It was first discovered in the Zika forest of Uganda nearly seven decades ago. It began to spread in the Western Hemisphere in May of last year, and it has been spreading rapidly as very few people have immune defenses against Zika. The virus is spread by mosquitoes that are part of the Aedes species. It is spread by mosquitoes, but there have been reports of possible transmission through blood transfusions. The possibility that Zika causes microcephaly has caused alarm as well. Now, scientists are trying to understand why Zika causes brain damage in small heads and infants. Without a treatment on the horizon, are any experimental drugs being evaluated? There is no vaccine or treatment, and it is very hard to diagnose. Symptoms include mild fevers or rashes. Still, 80% of people infected show no symptoms. GlaxoSmithKline is working on feasibility studies to evaluate whether its vaccine technology is suitable for the Zika virus. Sources say Merck is not currently engaged in research to prevent or treat the virus. Separately, Francis Sanofi says it is renewing the possibility of applying its technology for Zika. It won approval late last year for the first dengue vaccine. Meanwhile, Japan's Takeda Pharmaceutical says it is focused on addressing dengue and its experimental vaccine is not designed to cover Zika virus. How are governments trying to contain the virus outbreak in the hard-hit regions of Latin America? And what is the CDC saying about the potential for Zika in the United States? It's no easy feat to create and test a vaccine. It takes plenty of time and money. The CDC advises pregnant women to avoid traveling to regions where Zika is being transmitted. It's nearly impossible to prevent mosquito bites, but it is advising travelers to minimize exposure to mosquitoes. The CDC also advises women thinking of becoming pregnant to consult doctors before traveling to Zika regions. Last week, the CDC issued interim guidelines for pregnant women who visited countries with Zika. It says pregnant women who have been to affected regions should have an ultrasound scan eventually to see if they're fetuses are developing microcephaly. This is controversial as an ultrasound cannot detect microcephaly before the end of the second trimester. The virus has yet to be reported in the continental U.S. A woman gave birth to a brain-damaged baby in Hawaii after falling ill with Zika in Brazil. The World Health Organization says Zika will spread to the U.S. Meanwhile, some of the regions hard hit by the outbreak are bracing for the economic hit. With the Zika virus in 20 Latin American countries and the Caribbean, tourism could be affected. With Carnival as well as the Olympics a big draw, Brazil is also stepping up its fight against the virus.